a bit, you know. Yeah, let me play for you and then enjoy a bit. And then after here, go and watch this video. Uh, this music in the link is here on the description. So just click that, that link will take you direct to this song. Yeah, let's go. Wana se monani dang Wana ji kondesha ji chokesha kupigi ambu zigitai Kwa mana umeni ziba masikio Na macho umeni fumba nisione Uki wambali kilio Weda wa yangu nipone Kito nani mishono zigizaga Hello What's up everybody What's up my beautiful people? Yes, I go by the name of the Datus. Welcome and welcome back to watch my videos. For the returning subscribers, thank you a million times. I really appreciate your support. You have been here supporting me, supporting a village boy here. Yeah, living at Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, East Africa. Thank you guys and if you're new here, I go by the name of the that you see here on YouTube and before we proceed, consider subscribing and at this video, I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy, you're going to enjoy, you don't need to miss this and I think here we will have part one and uh, part two. Yes, uh, I'll be explaining how my music career died. Yes, I came here to Dar es Salaam just to chase my dream on music. But later on, I am an electrician, I've been a garden boy, I've been a watchman, I've been doing a lot. I became a farmer, I did pig farming, I did the granites, I've been a hawker in this city of Dar es Salaam at Kaliako. I used to sell those granites. Eh? I used to go at Kaliako, then I think I, I, yeah, I used to do that job. And I was a. Hey, Guys, I've been through a lot. You have been watching me and you don't know my story, but in our today's video, I want to tell you, let me, to and explain about my life. And uh, you'll be able to know the person you have been following, eh? watching him and supporting him uh, here on YouTube. But I really appreciate your support. Thank you a million times. God bless you. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because this channel is going to grow. I'm going to be one of the best content creator from Africa. Yes, one day, let's grow together. If you're new here, let's grow together. And one day you'll be a, a, you'll be proud that uh, I have been supporting this guy for many years. And right now, he's on top right there. Yes, I'm, I believe we are going somewhere. We are going on top. Just uh, bear with me some mistakes here and there when I'm creating those contents. But where we are going, we are going to the top because now I have I decided in my life I will focus with content creation until I, I, I break through in content creation and then later I will proceed with other stuff. But right now I want to tell you how my music career died. I was a secular artist and then I changed to gospel artist and then I lost my album. Eh? 10 songs, I lost them. How I lost them and how I became just, uh, I stopped doing gospel music and am I going to proceed with gospel music or not? <laughs> You'll, I will explain everything in here. So, you don't need to miss this. You need to subscribe and you you need to watch this video till the end because you're going to enjoy you're going to enjoy a lot yes so let's proceed with our video i came at the last salam tanzania on uh, 2015 is when i came at the Salaam to hustle as uh, just to chase my music career as a uh, as an artist so when I came out to Dar es Salaam, my uncle, big shout out to you, my uncle, um, the one who hosted me. And uh, there are people who uh, who told me that just come at Dar es Salaam will support you. And when I reached, when I came out to Dar es Salaam, uh, they just switched off their phones. I could call. They don't uh, pick my call. All I and then I used to uh, later on. They I, they just blocked me, and uh, I couldn't. Um, uh, get them or find them anywhere so I was just stranded here at Dar es Salaam my uncle just gave me the chance uh, to stay at Dar es Salaam and then he, because when I came at Dar es Salaam uh, 
is when I, I um our results for fall is that because my education I have just uh, I'm a form four maybe I can say form four old <laughs> here in Tanzania but that education in Tanzania you can't get a job with that certificate of, uh, as a form four maybe. I cannot say from four older. Is that okay? Guys, my English, I'm still uh, trying to pull up my socks, you know. I'm trying to, yeah, to upgrade my English. But right on, I awful. You enjoy just why I'm telling you, you need to stay here because in the near future, I'll be speaking nice English. You'll be enjoying. You'll be proud of me one day. I'm telling you. I promise you. So, uh, what happened is that... Uh, I stayed with my uncle here at Dar es Salaam for 2015, the whole year, and then I went back home. And before I, I, I went home, I he, he paid me, he paid for me um, to record. He paid for a studio session. I recorded one song by his money, my uncle. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you, Banner Tree. Uh, maybe I should mention his name yeah for those who just supported me in one way or the other i'll mention your name here on my channel just uh as a way of appreciation because right now i have nothing to pay you i'm just i'll be um, i i always play for those people who have been supporting my career supporting me here and there encouraging me and uh uh, the way of appreciation so i'm going to just uh, mention your name yes engineer Lue Mam. yes this is my uncle the one who hosted me all year yeah i i didn't have the job with the one who could uh, i was eating chasing my dream going in there looking for record rebels just uh, to see if i can get a manager to support me yes and I think before we proceed, <laughs> maybe some of you, you want to hear me maybe singing, right? You want me to sing? Oh, okay. Let me play this song and then I will sing. At the end, I will give you a cappella. Oh, comment that Do you want me to sing right now? But by the way, I've been not doing, um, I've been not doing um, this, how can I call it? Um, I've been not exercising on um, just on my vocal because since I lost my album, I never do that. I've never done that. So up to date, I've been just you know eating anything, drinking anything, you know, which is not good for an artist who is singing. But I know I am the best. Yes, I don't have that uh, uh, nice maybe um, vocal to, um, uh, but I know I'm the best. So, yes, so guys, now um, I've decided, uh, let me introduce this song. I recorded this song a long time ago. Those, yes, I think before we proceed, I should give you just a bit of this song. And uh, I will upload this, uh, this song here on my YouTube channel. So after this video, you should go and watch this. I'm going to upload all of them today. So... And I will be uploading those uh, those songs I recorded a long time ago. And you will tell me, those days, this, they have maybe almost seven years, eight years. And uh, I think if I could get someone to manage me, I think right now I could be somewhere far away. I could be one maybe of the biggest artists here in Tanzania. So, let me introduce to you this song right now. This is my song. Mm. Wana semo na nidanga Wakichecha unifai kabisa Nime vaba kanyanga Mina we watu ndani kabisa Wana semo na nidanga Wakichecha unifai kabisa Nime vaba kanyanga Mina we watu ndani kabisa Wana jikondesha Jichokesha kupigia mbuzi gitai Kwa mana Umeni ziba masikio Na machu umeni fumba nisione Uki wambali kilio Weda wa yangu nipone Kito nani mishono zigizaga Ilo zigola Kona funja chaga Na flow haka pela yaga yaga Uki taba samuna ni malizaga I love you Watamaliza hilizi 
So, <laughs> guys, you need to go and listen this song of your enjoy. Of your enjoy. Go and listen to this song. The link is here down below. So you need to listen to this song of your enjoy. I'm telling you. Yeah. So, I recorded this song, I think, seven years ago. Yeah. Seven to eight years ago. Yeah. Since back then, up to date. Yeah. So you can imagine, maybe... Okay, and I will release another one. So this is one song and I want to proceed with this video because I don't want to make this video longer. Yes, so let's listen to this uh, this song just, just a bit, you know. Yeah, let me play for you and then enjoy a bit. And then after here, go and watch this video, uh, this music. In, the link is here. On the description so just click that that ring will take you direct to this song yeah let's go wana semo na nidanga weki cheche unifai kabisa ime vaba kanyanga mina wewe tuendani kabisa wana semo na nidanga weki cheche unifai kabisa ime vaba kanyanga Mina wewe tuendani kabisa yeah. Wana jikonesha, jichokesha Kupigia mbuzi gitai Kwa mana Umeni zipa masikio Na machome ni fumba nisione Ukiwa mbali kilio Wedawa yangu nipone Kitana ni mishono zigizaga Hilo zigola kona vunja chaga Na flow akapela yaga yaga Ukitaba samuna ni malizaga Alo Wata mali zahirizi Alo Wako siyo ni sisiki Alo Weshi na mindo mizizi Alo 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 Oh baby I love Alo Alo My Cinderella Ayo go yo Ayo Ayo go yo My umbrella Ayo go yo Ayo Ayo go yo My Cinderella Ayo go yo so let's stop there <laughs> let's stop there and uh, go listen to this music you'll enjoy and i will upload there are a lot uh, there are a uh, couple of songs i think i will upload them here on my youtube channel and then i will upload those some of um, uh, gospel songs in here because i lost the album i don't have that album i lost all the album and here on this i will explain how it happened what happened i will explain in here but let me give you the journey how i became a gospel artist and then i be I, I, how i left um, secular music and to gospel music and at the end i will explain i'm um, why going to do gospel music or these love songs do you, and tell me which music you do you enjoy and uh, comment that would you like um would you like hey guys english <laughs> english it's not uh, a vegetable as my you know says that english is not a vegetable i'm telling you english <laughs> okay so uh you just comment there down below you'd like me to sing maybe gospel music or love this uh love songs like this eh? you mm, also i think you will enjoy a lot more is coming in this youtube channel just why you need to subscribe and stay here yes so uh 2016 i went back home and i came back when i came back there is one uh, music band they said they want to um, to employ me as uh, someone who, who will be uh, how do you say, who will be composing songs for them because in composing songs I'm the best. I don't have that nice nice vocal, but when it comes to composing, I'm the best. I can compose song every day. I can compose one song and a nice song. You can ask if my mom she could be i think she could testify this she could testify this because when i used to go to school 
uh, uh, when we come back uh, maybe for the mid term or when we come just for the old days or something like that she used to check on my bag and uh, I used to have when I go to school I used to go with a new counter just special for music and she could beat me a lot but uh, sometimes I used to be the one who is buying those counter books because when I was at school when we just uh, go home maybe for those short breaks or those uh, holidays I used to go and uh, as a handman help those who are building mason who are building cal, uh, concrete uh, I used to do that and I could buy those small small stuff like uh, maybe sometimes shoes shirt or some of counter books also them they did their best because they used to buy uh, uh, those counter they could add but I used to use my money to buy those counter but my mom she could beat me like a dog why are you compose, composing those songs and uh, I'm telling you, if you have a kid uh, is talented, please support that kid because on the beginning, before I, I discovered um, that I'm the best on uh, maybe composing songs I can sing, I used to be, I used to draw. And I'm um, left, I, 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 use, I always like to use uh, left hand and when I'm playing football I use the left leg. But they could beat me so that I can use the right hand to write and eat and do everything. So you can imagine, and I was talented, I could draw something. Those, I was the best on primary school, I was one of the best, not on the, one of the, I was the best at my primary school. I could draw, I was an artist, I could draw nice pictures. And I don't know how I can explain this, but I was the best, but they used to beat me up that you have to stop, go to school, study, because those artists, they do art work because they failed the school, so you have to go to school and study. But I was the best. Then I stopped drawing and I went to school. When I went to school is when I discovered that I can compose songs, I can sing. I started just like that. So when uh, this uh, uh, band, uh, uh, brought me at the restaurant. They said they going to give me a contract and I'll be composing songs every year I have to make sure I get a nice album only one album every year So that was a, a good deal for me and I was like when I get money Maybe I'll work for them for two to three years and then I when I re, I'll be saving money And then I will quit and start doing and depend on myself and start doing my original songs as uh, as an uh, independent artist, you know, I couldn't lie on anyone, maybe to be my manager or something like that. I used to think like that. But when I came at the restaurant, I went to the uh, to the salon to make my hair. So when I was there, it was on Friday, and I was going to send the contract on Monday. So when I was at the salon, I met... Uh, I, I can say she, this is a lady who is so amazing, I think was sent by God because also at that time I was so depressed because I lost one year without getting a quadrable or a manager to support me. So I was kind of confused, I was just not... Yes, so guys, uh, sorry my battery uh, shut down and I had to change the battery. So my battery died, so I said to change the battery. So what happened uh, that day, I was at the salon. So I met um, this lady, uh, I remember your name, madam. I don't know if you'll be, <laughs> you'll be offended, but I'm sorry, but this is just to appreciate what you did because uh, you changed me completely the way I used to think a lot of things I, I, I came to know about God you took care of me so that day when I was at the salon just making my hair and uh, when uh, I was just outside just uh, uh, planning to go back home and then uh, this lady with um, one guy they came there I didn't know that they was doing evangelism in the street. So uh, they just came to me, they told me about Jesus, you know, you have to be born again and God will uh, uh, will just uh, elevate you in your life. Uh, they just um, preached to me. 
but to that day I wasn't ready because on Monday I was going to send the contract and at my home they kind of um, depend on me they are watching on me because I'm a firstborn and uh, my dream was just uh, to work hard so that I can help my mom uh, to pay school fees for my young sisters and brothers because I used to see the way she used to struggle to pay the school fees when I was at uh, when I was at school those days so I was uh, I wanted just to go to send the contract and so that I can be employed and get money and pay and help my mom to pay the school fees so uh, when she told me you have to be born again so I was like when I'll be born again it means I'll lose that job I'll not be allowed to do because those bands you know they uh, just go to the pub or the club they sing and uh, and uh, I have to be there because I'm the guy who is uh, composing those songs I have to be there so I was like ah, no 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 I can't do this so she told me, okay, if you can't um, accept Jesus to be your savior and uh, uh, just agree to be born again, okay, I, I just I will just leave you. And but she told me that I invite you at church, so you can just come. We have a nice service. There are a lot of young boys there. You can just mingle with them, chat with them, share ideas. So I thought like that is a good deal to go to church. And I used to uh, go to church since I was a young kid. I, I grew up in church. So I said, it's okay to go to church, not to, ch not to be born again. It's okay. So on Sunday, I went to church. But when I went there, it was like that day, our pastor, I'm telling you, he was preaching almost. He was kind of... Uh, explaining about my life and if I could have uh, explained about what I was passing through or I could uh, maybe say anything about my life to this red who preached to me and this red is Liz Washuka Liz Washuka, God bless you I'm telling you, I will explain also about uh, Liz Washuka because she has been a blessing in my life also this drum you see here this drum here she gifted me that and she told me, a day you will feel like you want to quit music. Remember, you are the best in music. Because she believed in me. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm so talented. The problem is that I've been not doing, uh, uh, I've been not uh, uh, doing those, uh, you know, eh, um, practice uh, for almost three years. I've been not singing for almost three years. Three years, yeah. Three years I've been not singing, I'm just uh, eating everything, I'm not doing any practice. Uh, that's why now my vocal is not that uh, good. So, uh, what she told me, she was like, you, c uh, you should come to church. So I went to church that Sunday. When I went there, I met pastor. He was preaching almost, he, he, it was like he was talking about, he was preaching about my life. So when he said just, uh, if you are there and you are not born again, you should come and... Uh, give your life to Jesus Christ. I went there and I said no Whatever, let me start a new life So it was just like that and I became a born again and um, They guided me preached to me. So it was so difficult for me to change from secular music to gospel artists I all year went and uh, before uh, after being born again the following day was uh, was the day when I was going to to sign the contract guess what I didn't go there uh, when they used to call me I couldn't pick the, their calls and then they just talked to mommy that hey, this boy he don't is not picking our calls and so we are not going to sign to give him the contract and because you can't reach him so my mom she complained to me that why you did that but later on she accepted because my mom really loves me so much when i explained to her that uh, let me change my life and let me look and fight for another life so she was like what are you going to do at Dar es Salaam? and when i came back i didn't come to my uncle's place i i uh, the guy who was on that saloon is the one who hosted me just for four days so that i can send my contract and then i will leave his place so now i didn't sign the contract and i have to explain to him and uh, look a favor to stay for some 
a few months so that I can uh, maybe do the work because already I was uh, I, I used to do uh, electrical I'm, I was an, an electrician so I could do I was able to do wiring but I had to explain to that boy that hey I did this and now I'm born again so I'm not going to uh, to do the co to sign the contract so I have to figure out what I'm going to do here at Dresden because I didn't plan to go back home because I knew when I go back home our life is just uh, poor life and I have to fight and I promised myself that I will fight so that I can help my mom to pay the school fees so my life wasn't easy those days I could eat one mandaz <laughs> one andaz or oh, two mandaz per day with uh, the, you, those days at, at Tanzania we have we had uh, a, a juice called fulusana fulusana yes I could just spend a day drinking two uh, eating two mandas and one bottle of flusana it's just a small bottle just like this so that was my life those days I just trying to figure out what I will uh, uh, going to different uh, construction sites to seek for jobs sometimes you get sometimes you don't get so that was my life and then one day I remembered one engineer electrical engineer uh, my uncle those days when I was staying at his place introduced uh, introduced me to him that um, he should just give me the job and we can work together those days so i remember the day i called him i was like hey uh, i'm at the restaurant right now but i'm not staying with my uncle so i'm just looking for a job if you have a job please give me the job and right now we can uh, um i'm just he, he knew that uh, uh, those days i was uh, i was good but he couldn't trust me that much so he gave me the job to do the wiring at uh, one of this um, factory. Uh, those they um, they produce vodka, vodka those uh, spirits. Yeah. So I went there. I did the wiring, but you can imagine I, I used to do the wiring alone, and him he wasn't there. So there's a the time he went Kagela, and I was at the restaurant. He the guy. I did the job, but uh, the payment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I could go maybe for three days without getting anything and I didn't have money, pocket money maybe to survive so I could walk almost, um, I can't remember it was how many kilometers but a long journey you, you can walk almost two, almost two hours, yeah, almost two hours so I was like, ah, the drive those days wasn't good so I did the wiring, so when there is one day when I got the miracle. Uh, this day uh, I met, I was coming from that factory and that guy wasn't there. Um, it was afternoon and at the time it is so hot. So I was just walking, going back home with my bag full of uh, my tools and going back home. So as I was walking, one car stopped. So when that car stopped, uh, there is a guy, eh? he lowered his window, he was like, hey boy, why are you walking, uh, you are just walking here, I see your legs are so dirty, where are you going? I was like, um, I'm going somewhere, he said, just enter in my car, I told him, no, 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 I'm so dirty and your car looks so nice, so how I can enter in your car? I was like, it's okay, I'm just few uh, few meters to my home. I was like, no, just you enter and uh, I felt like I, I need to help you, I just to give you a ride. So I entered his car and then he, he asked me that, uh, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. I explained to him, my name is Datus, I'm an electrician. So I was coming from the construction site where I was doing the wiring, but my engineer is not allowed and I was calling him, he's not picking. So I didn't have the fare to go back home. So, yeah, that guy, he was like, oh, sorry, even me, I'm building. Uh, I have a construction site at Timadale, so uh, he, he gave me his number, he said just save my number 
when you are free just come here we can just hang around because uh, I have already an electrician but I will convince him to give you the job you will work with him and you can be coming there when you don't have job because I think it felt like I was someone stressed you know and um, yeah and those days I was thin because <laughs> I could I could survive with only one meal per day so it's what I could afford those days and sometimes I could sleep without uh, Amir. Amir, I mean uh, those Fulsana, uh, a bottle of juice with the, uh, yeah, with those uh, mandas. So that guy, he dropped me and he gave me 20,000 Tanzanian shillings, which is uh, maybe around, um, around uh, 8 USD. Yeah, 8 USD, around 8 USD. So I gave him that money. I was like, what? 20,000 and I didn't do anything. So, guys, this guy, he gave me a light. And uh, later on, we met. He was one of the best place, uh, one of the best people I've ever met in my life. And he explained to me he was in the Philippines, so he came back in Tanzania right now. He's building his home. So I was happy just getting a connection with that such guy. Just eh? So I was happy. I said, okay, I'll meet you again. And that following day, that guy called him, said, come to site. I went there and then he, later on he didn't pick my calls. Then I went back home. So the third day, I called this guy. I was like, hey, today I don't have the job, so I'm free. I can, uh, maybe we can, uh, we can meet when we'll be at the site. He said, okay, okay, my young brother, just come. I will, uh, we can just talk and then see what we can do. So I was like, oh my goodness, this is God. So in those days, hey, even I, I testified at church later on uh, when things uh, uh, went well. I was like, hey, God brought me this person in my life. And uh, for sure, the story about this guy, everything started very well. And uh, at the end, <laughs> things changed, uh, legs up and down, just like that. Um, he chased me uh, because a lot happened to the point when I, I became a watchman in uh, on his site. Here is the story about how I became a watchman. So, there is part two. <laughs> there is part two I will be explaining how I became a watchman to this guy and he helped me later on. Uh, I used to, see, to sleep on uh, those iron sheet iron sheet and he gave me uh, one curtain like this just to cover myself at night and to, at the restaurant there are a lot of mosquito here at the restaurant so i used to cover myself with uh, uh, that uh, this uh, uh, curtain and i could sleep there guide the side uh, windows there a lot of materials you know at the at at, at that side so i used to to I became a watchman there and later on my life changed. I started making money. How I was making money? My life changed. He opened a business and I was the manager of his business. I was, okay, I was a supervisor of his business and I was the business was doing very well. We could make um, one million plus per day, one million plus, and I was the one doing uh, accounting money, just managing everything. I was an accountant, I'm the one employing people, just doing the interview, just see you, we need you, you, you know, we don't need you. I was that guy. So a lot happened. So this story will proceed with it in part two. You don't need to miss this. And uh, I will explain how I lost my album on part two and here we are. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I really appreciate your support. You don't need to miss part two. Go and listen this song um, a year ago. Here down, the link is here down below on the description. I love you guys. I needed you to know the person you're following here on YouTube channel because you knew me as a content creator but uh, you didn't know this part of my life how I became 
a content creator how i lost my album so here i will be explaining a lot thank you for watching this video i really appreciate your support i don't need this video to be very long i love you guys see you on part two